Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do an updated lash routine. Actually, only one thing has changed and that's the lashes. I used to use Lashify, which I still stand by. They're amazing, um, high quality, like the best like individual little lash strips you can do. Um, but they got pricey, which got me <laughs> looking for um, an alternative. Well, actually, I don't know if I was looking for an alternative, but I was in Dollar Tree like sometime earlier this year. I can't remember how long I've been using these for. And I saw these and I I don't know if anyone else online has talked about them, but it turned out to be the best discovery for me in 2022. And it's these Ioni. They are... Um, faux mink individual lash extensions. This is the first kind that I found. It was a purple box. Um, and then recently I saw they had a different color box and these ones are even prettier. They're like more wispy. I mean, they probably look the same on here, but I noticed these ones kind of like Look a, look a little bit more bushy when it's like spread out while this one has a little bit of like a cleaner wispiness so I think I'm gonna do the oh okay okay maybe they're both wispy it's just the length okay this one says medium full maybe I should read sometimes good idea uh, <laughs> this one's medium and then this one's long so I'm gonna do the long one so only the lashes change. Everything else I'm using is the same, which is the Ardell um, Lash Tight. Really strong black glue and the little curved tweezers. So I'm gonna do that now because after this video, I'm gonna film my boxy charm. So I needed to put my lashes on anyways. Oh, and also they have like these tiny ones if you wanna do like bottom lashes, but I like to use them like cut to kind of taper off the ends. So I'm gonna do like, like one, um, one on each side on regular speed and then I'm probably going to just fast forward the rest so we don't have to watch the slow process. So I still put them on like this. I hold it like this. I also peel off the glue that's that's at the end. Like I just grab that little strip and just kind of pull the glue off because if you leave that glue on there it will catch makeup and you don't want to see like white underneath the lash strips. So I always start right here. It's a little bit not directly on the corner. It's a little bit like maybe a millimeter in. I found that I like that better because it feels more comfortable. Like I don't have anything touching the corner of my eye. So I'm just going to press together once I try to like blow the um the glue before putting it on too just to get like an initial like top layer of like a stickier glue otherwise it's just completely wet it'll just like fall off your eyelash sometimes oh I never noticed I did this I actually sometimes like pull the glue off with the tweezers like you could see it coming off and stretching and then I like have to clean the end of the tweezers and then I still do this method which is squeezing it to the top and then kind of getting this much glue on And I got my first two on. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do the rest.
Okay, so I have them all on now. I kind of have to wait for them to dry a little bit because I don't know if you saw earlier, um, sometimes when I fuse them and they aren't fully dry, it'll get stuck to the tweezers and come off when I take the tweezers off. So I have to make sure like they're really dried and stuck on there before I like give them one last squeeze. But sometimes I get impatient and <laughs> I end up pulling a lash off on accident. I'm not going to do the little the little tapered pieces right now because I don't really have anywhere special to go. I'll only do that if like I want the lashes to like look really really like like perfect. <laughs> but for everyday use, I just usually do it like this. Once these are on, they last um like a week, a week and then maybe one will fall out by the end of one week. Or sometimes if I have like a really rough sleep or something, one will one will be off like, but it's really simple just to glue one piece on and I buy tons of boxes because they're only $1.25. So when one comes off, I just re-glue it and it takes a pretty long time, before, like at least like two weeks before they start like looking really like, like you need to just pull them all off and start over. But yeah, I've been wearing these all year long and they've been my favorite. When I first, first found them, I was scared it was going to be like a one-off thing at Dollar Tree. So I like bought all of them. And then when I ran out of all those boxes, I went back and I was like, thank you. Because it seems like it's a regular thing now because I'm finding them there all the time. Uh-oh, see, I didn't wait long enough, but who's gonna win? Ah, the glue one. Not the tweezers. And that's it. I just fused them. I just pressed them together and that is my best find of the year, the Ioni Faux Mink Individual Lash Extensions from Dollar Tree. Try to keep them a secret because once people find out this combination, it's game over. <laughs> or maybe they already, they already know, I don't know, I haven't really looked up like lash stuff on YouTube in a long, long time. Thanks for watching and I'm going to fill my boxy charm now. Bye.